Stephen here for the Idiot Quilter and today I'm going to do another Quilt of Valor block and I'm also using another new system for making these recordings and I hope that these are going to give a better picture and a little more professional look but we'll see so bear with me if I make some mistakes so let's move the camera down so I can show you the pattern And I just about got it here. There we go. Okay. So let me move the keyboard out of the way. So here's the pattern. It's called the propeller nine inch block. And uh, it shows you how to put it together. It looks pretty simple. And it says, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the four and a half inch squares and make four half square triangles. And these are the four and a half inch squares. Let's just move these pieces out of the way. Put these two down so the darker ones on the bottom the lighter ones on top with right sides together and just line it up and let's take a pencil and a ruler and we're going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on the light material oops and then we're going to take these over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew oh, a quarter inch on either side of the line and then we'll cut them in half on the line I just draw, drew and that will create our half square triangle. So let me switch cameras here. So we're on the sewing machine. We're using the little sewing machine today. It already has my quarter inch foot installed and so we're just going to sew right down no we're not <laughs> I shouldn't have this foot set up like this what I need is if I can get it out from under here what we need is not our quarter inch foot for this but we just need our ordinary everyday F foot and the F foot has a little Mark on it. Then we need to go all the way over. And I'm just pushing my needle over as far as it will go, and this will sew a quarter of an inch on either side of this line. Probably should use a jumper or starter, whatever you want to call these. I'm never sure what they're called. I'm just going to shed a little bit more light here on our subject if I can. And find my, sorry, I moved the camera because I gotta find my foot pedal. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna put this in, and away we go. just going to stay, uh, chain stitch this so I'm going to put the next one in under my foot slow it down just a hair that's a little better a little bit more control when I slowed it down so I'm just following that line that I drew between the, the corners on the diagonal and the needle is sewing a quarter inch seam allowance on one side we're just going to cut that and we're going to flip the chain around. I'm going to cut off my, um, I think I'll just leave it on here for now. That should be okay. And we'll do another line of stitching and no I'm not okay. Should have used the jumper. Yep, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let's grab some scissors here. Got them. And let's just take that jumper from this end and get it under here and start. And I'll just straighten that out a little bit and place this under. We should be good to go. Good 
this should uh, be working out okay. Oh, I'm going off. Okay, don't know how that's happening. But something's pulling there. Okay, let's carry on. I think I'm okay. Take that jumper off this end. Got a few loose threads here that I don't need, so I'm just gonna get those off. Okay, so let's separate these two pieces. Let's take them back over to the cutting table. And we're just gonna take these two pieces and cut them in half, break down that pencil line I made before. Same with this one. Okay, so there we have. So we need to press those. And what does it say? Does it give us an idea? And it's really not telling us. It's also not telling us about squaring these up, but we may have to check these to see. So I'm just going to get my cutting or my pressing mat over here. And we're going to press to the dark side. These are supposed to measure, well they were four and a half inch squares that we put together. So it's not really telling us that we need to square it up. Oh yes it does, trim to four inch squares. So okay. You know it always helps when you read instructions. I should be doing that more often. Let me grab my four inch square. go so now we want to line this up on the diagonal and we should be a little bigger than what I want yes they are so right there I can go ahead and trim this on two sides And then we're going to take it and we're just going to spin it. Line this up again on this side. Four inch. Oops, I should turn it. Let's get that on the diagonal. Okay, I'm having a little trouble getting this to stay here. It's not right. I always get twisted up when I'm trying to do this kind of thing. Let's get it down here in the right spots. Here we go. Okay, now we got it. it. Takes me a minute or two to learn how to manipulate my ruler. And cut off that dog ear. Okay, cut off the dog ear. There we go. Whoa, wouldn't think you'd have this much problem. Okay, so we're going to do the next one. Let's see if we can do this a little bit more efficiently. Let's get all the lines on the inside here. Okay, so we can take a little off there, a little off there. Now we'll spin it. Squared up from my two square sides. Make sure my line's on the diagonal. Okay, so that 
that's all done. So I'm going to do this to the other two blocks and then I'll be back. Now the instructions say to sew the two inch and the two and a half inch strips together on the long edge. And then we have to subcut those into four two and a half inch pieces. So we're going to sew this to this. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Now we're going to switch out our foot again. We're going to go to our quarter inch foot and have to make sure that I, oops, okay that wasn't good. Sometimes when you switch different machines you get the controls mixed up and I forgot there's no automatic down on this one. There we go. Okay now we got to put this back to its original position because I've got the quarter inch seam uh, foot on and put these two pieces together, line them up. And away we go. I think we can go a little faster. Let's not get crazy though. Maybe just a little faster. Okay. Speed kills. Let's make sure that's lined up. back to the cutting table. Okay, and it says to open this and press to the dark. So I'm just going to do, bring my mat over so you can see this. Set my seam. I don't think I set my seam on the half square triangles. Oh well, too late now. I sometimes forget to do that in my excitement getting the block together. Okay, we're pressed. Move this out of our way. Now it wants us to cut this piece into four two and a half inch pieces. So this would be a good time to get out my stripology ruler. This is one of the best inventions there ever was. I love it a lot. So let's get it lined up here. And I'm just going to cut a little bit off to make sure my edge is square. Setting at the zero, lining it up on the bottom. So I'm just going to take that edge off and then a two and a half. Five, seven and a half, nine. A little piece left over. One, two. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I'm an idiot, but I'm not screwed. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I did that. Oh, people, really. If you want comedy, I'm giving it to you. So there has to be two and a half inch pieces. Well, these are all two and a half inch pieces, except for the last one. So if I sew these together, am I going to get a two and a half inch piece? Let's just measure it down here. Yes, we will. I'll have to trim it, but that's okay. So back to the sewing machine. sure I lock these intersections. Okay, slow it down a little bit. So we're going to have a little extra seam on this block, but I don't think it'll be noticeable. At least I'm hoping it won't be noticeable.
Okay, let's press that open. And I'm just going over here, I'm not going to bring the mat over. This is, this is quick. Okay, now let's see if we can cut this one right this time. Two and a half inches. I think I should go probably from the shorter edge. And let's just see if we can get things lined up here. Now I don't really need to use the stripology ruler for this. some reason I'm sticking. Okay, press this down again. Give it a good press. It doesn't seem to matter how much pressing I'm giving it. It's not doing its thing. Okay. You know, this ruler is just too awkward for this. Let's just get out the small ruler. And let's just line it up along here. And I know I'm off the shot, so let's go. Uh, okay, you're just going to have to bear with me for just a second. Okay, so I've laid out the pieces uh, according to the diagram. And it does look a little strange at first, but they do call it the propeller block. So these pieces are kind of opposite, and they make it look like a propeller. So, what we need to do is sew each row together. So I'm just putting these pieces like this. And I'm just going to take them over to the sewing machine and sew each one of those. I'm going to do a little chain sewing, quarter inch seam allowance. I don't have anything I have to line this up with, except with the bottom. The next row. them back and get the next pieces. Let's just check our diagram, make sure we have everything in the right spot. So this one goes top of that. This one goes like this. This piece should go like that. Just double checking here. It's very confusing. Dirk, dirk, dirk. Okay, so we just need to sew the third piece on each row. Again, we don't have any intersections we have to match up, which is good. At least at this stage, we might have when we put the rows together. the last. 
last piece. separate these and then back to the cutting mat let's open these up and I think we get those a little screwed around and we do there we go things where it's supposed to be now so now we're going to sew each of these rows together so I don't think you need to watch that we'll come back in a moment okay so there we have it we've got the propeller nine inch block all done and uh, you can't really see where I had that mistake where I cut this this is the one down here but once this gets into a big quilt and it's all quilted over top you'll never notice that seam and uh, yeah it turned out pretty good so that's another uh, quilt of Valor block done for the eventual whole quilt. So stay tuned for the next time I do something like this. And hopefully with each time I do one of these videos, I'll get a little better with my new setup. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.